Create a new canvas at 1280 by 720 pixels. You will see that I have already picked out the colors for you, so I will leave the color codes in the video description for you to follow along. With a mid-tone brown color, activate the ellipse tool. Hold Option and Shift on your keyboard and create a perfect circle from the center. Duplicate this circle by pressing Command C and then Command F for a copy and paste in front. Resize the new circle and make it red for the pizza sauce. Repeat this to give the crust a lighter color around the edge of the sauce. Create a new circle, resize it smaller and make it light yellow for the cheese. Let's select Tall and activate the Rotate tool. While holding Option, rotate everything 90 degrees. Since a pizza is never perfectly round, we will distort things a little bit. Select the outer crust shape and head to the Effect menu at the top and select Zigzag. Check on the Smooth option and give it a 2 pixel size in a 4 ridge segments and apply. Confirm by going to the Object menu and selecting Expand Appearance to finalize the new shape. Select the highlight and the red circle and apply the same effect. For the cheese, let's apply a zigzag effect except this time and put a 9 pixel size with a 4 ridge segment. Now let's apply the 3D isometric effect. Select all and activate the scale tool and press enter on your keyboard. Input 100% for uniform and then under non-uniform input 82% for horizontal and 70.5% for vertical and press ok. Now activate the shear tool, press enter and input a minus 30 degree angle. Finally, activate the rotate tool, press enter and input a 30 degree angle and you will see that the drawing has been resized isometrically. Let's make this look three dimensional. Select the crust shape and duplicate it downwards. Give it a darker color and send it to the back. Double click on the shape to isolate it and activate the direct selection tool. Select the upper anchors and delete them. Follow that up with activating the pen tool and connect the two sides like so, so that you could close the shape. And just like that, the pizza looks three dimensional. Let me do the same for the sauce and the cheese area. Now let's create the toppings. Using the same method, let's create the pepperoni. And now let's just apply some pepperoni to the pizza. Following the same methods, I will continue to apply toppings to the illustration.
Finally, we can apply a shadow using the main shape of the pizza. Send it to the back and give it a great color and apply some finishing touches to the crust area. And there you have it everyone, how to simply create a 3D isometric pizza vector from start to finish in Adobe Illustrator. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, please drop a like and let me know what you'd like to see next. Have a great day and cheers everyone.